In Genesis 48, 9, we read, They are the sons God has given me. Joseph said to his father, Then Israel said, Bring them to me so I may bless them. And there is a blessing that we bestow upon our children. That uh, I look in, at the, the blessings that, uh, that um, Israel prayed over his sons. And each one of them came, in, came to pass. And so it's an important part about praying blessings upon our children and grandchildren. In 1 Samuel 1, Hannah presented her son Samuel to the Lord and said, Lord, if you give me a child, I will give him back to you. And she gave Samuel to the Lord as a surrendering, a dedication into his hands. In Proverbs 22, 6, we say, train a, read, train a child in the way he should go, and when he is old, he will not turn from it. There is an importance of raising our children up and training them the right way to go. And anybody that's been a parent knows that uh, they pick up on our imperfections as much as our perfections, which I, I wouldn't say that we have a lot of perfections, but they pick up on our bad habits just as much as our good habits. But we need to do our best to give them the tools to succeed. And even when they make their mistakes and even when they face their trials, that they will learn and remember what they were taught growing up. And that's the important thing that we can hold on to. And I've seen many who have wandered off for a season and come back simply because of the foundation that God has given them through godly parents. And so I'm going to ask uh, Matt and Cassie and the rest of the family that wants to come up and join us up here. We want to pray a prayer of dedication upon Daxton Matthew Lostrom. Hi, Calvin. <laughs> Who's Daxton? Oh, okay. Well, to begin with, and I'm giving, giving everybody a chance to get up here. To begin with, I'm going to... Uh, the presenting of a child in dedication is a serious matter. It involves responsibilities with which we shall be charged. And a responsibility which God has promised to take upon himself toward each life, which is put in his care. So the first thing I want to say is to Matt and Cassie. And I'm going to ask uh, you to respond um, in a moment. Parents, the first responsibility is yours. Before God, to whom you bring your child for dedication, I charge each of you that you live in an exemplary life before the child that, sh that um, he may be, by example, know what it is to be a Christian. That example is going to be learned from you. That you make your home a school where he shall receive Christian instruction. <laughs> that you shall see that he is taken to church for additional instruction. He's full of energy. Mm -hmm. That you pray for him, for his salvation, when he reaches the age of accountability, and that you shall endeavor to lead him to Christ. In the sight of God and in the presence of these witnesses, do you solemnly undertake to bring up this child in the fear and admonition of the Lord? Do you promise early to seek to lead her to accept Jesus Christ as Savior and Lord? Sorry. Do you promise, as far as in you lies, to set before him examples of godly and consistent lives? I have a charge to the congregation. The church, which through its minister accepts a child in dedication, assumes a responsibility before God. And in view of this responsibility, I charge you who are members that you will do all that you can to provide and support a place of worship and instruction in this community where this child should continue to live here, may hear the full counsel of God's word. 
that you will all covenant together to set an example by your lives and to maintain an atmosphere in your church which shall inspire him to desire the Christian way of life. That as God shall remind you, you shall pray for his salvation. Those of you who are willing to accept this charge, please answer. With God's help, we will. I'm going to come down here and I'm going to grab hold of Zach's just to grab hold of my microphone. I'm going to get you. I'm going to get you. And I remember 24, 5, 6, 25 years ago that I uh, had a little girl right here. And we dedicate, had you dedicated before the Lord. And I remember a time when we went on a trip and we were in Iowa. Everything, that we, the hotel that we stayed in to her was Iowa. But uh, everything was Iowa. And in that place that uh, we stopped and visited uh, Open Bible Headquarters, and which is where I'm ord uh, ordained through. And uh, we went to the prayer room. <coughs> Cassie was sitting there praying. We thought, what are you doing? She was two. Yeah. <laughs> Ask Jesus in the heart. You know, we want to foster that within our children and our grandchildren. So we're going to pray, and I just want to ask everybody to stand up this morning as we pray a prayer of dedication upon Daxton. You are big. You are big. You are big. Beep. Let's pray. Father God, I thank you for Daxton. Lord, I thank you that uh, for this blessing that Matt and Cassie have. And I pray that, Lord Jesus, that Daxton would grow in the strength and admonition of the Lord. That he would grow in a home where he's happy, <laughs> that he's well cared for, and that, Lord Jesus, he knows the truth about you, about your love. And I pray that, Lord God, as he grows, that he would grow in his relationship with you. That he would grow in his relationship with you at home, at church. And that, Lord, as he gets older, that he would make the effort to pursue a closer walk with you, even on his own. That, Lord, even as the challenges of life face him, Lord, I pray that he would have the tools, the equipment to succeed in growing in the faith. And Lord, having an impact on the lives of people around him, that the joy that you've given him would be an inspiration to people around the world. Lord, I pray your blessing upon his life, that Lord, that you'd be his strength, that you'd be his joy, and that Lord, that you would give him and grant him the desires of his heart, that Lord, you'd fill him with your Holy Spirit, and that Lord, from a young age, he would have an impact on the people in his home, and on the people in his church family, and the people in his community. Just bless him, Lord. Fill him with your presence, and may he never miss the joy that you have for him. Guide and direct his footsteps, and I pray for Matt and Cassie, that Lord God, that you would guide and direct them as they raise Daxton with your wisdom, with your strength, and with your protection. That you fill them with understanding, and that Lord God, that you enable them to uh, be the parents that you've called them to be with this gift. We thank you for Daxton and this gift that he is. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 You made me see that.